some hot. Uh-huh. Got some hot. First. H I I there. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. It's Mama and Jeremiah. And we're back today to read a Christmas story. You gonna show them your Chris the book? Or are you gonna tell them the title first? Let's tell them the title and then we'll reveal the book. Go ahead. Hi there. Uh -huh. What's the name of it? F. Uh -huh. R. Mm -hmm. A. Uh huh. N. Franklin's Christmas Christmas what? Gift <gasps> Franklin's Christmas gift Franklin's Christmas gift Y'all ready? All right, come on. Come on, Tommy, come on. Come on, Jeremiah. Come on. Franklin's Christmas gift. Franklin loved Christmas. He could name all of Santa's reindeer. He could tie ribbons into bows and play Silent Night on his recorder. Franklin liked to give presents and to receive them. But this year, he couldn't decide what to give to the Christmas toy drive. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Every December, the students in Mr. Isle's class donated toys for needy families. The toys could be new or carefully used. When Mr. Owl put out the collection box, everyone was excited. They had three days to choose the perfect gifts to give. Mm. That evening, Franklin dug through his toys and picked up a shiny red car. I remember this, he said, wheeling it around. Vroom! Next, Franklin pulled out a stuffed what? What's that word? Mm -hmm. A stuffed. Bear. A stuffed. Elephant. Elephant and held her tight. I wonder where you've gone, he cried. Hmm. That stuffed elephant. What's the sign for elephant? Oh, wow. Then Franklin found his best green marble. It had been missing for weeks. Fantastic, he shouted. Franklin loved his marbles. He had won every marble in his collection, and each one was beautiful. 
Franklin picked through the rest of the toys and decided, hold on, to keep everything but a rusty truck with a missing wheel. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's focus. We're reading. Yes. asked his father to help him fix the truck. We can try, his father said, but it won't look new or even gently used. It's all I have. Everything else is too special to give away. I'd like you to think about that, said Franklin's dad. Christmas is a time to be generous. The next day of school, F, R, A, N. Franklin asked his friends what they were giving. Beaver was donating his big book for questions and answers. I already know all of the answers, she boasted. I am giving a puzzle, said Bear. I only did it once. Franklin frowned. I'm giving a truck, I think. He had two days left to decide. Cool. But Franklin was too busy to think about the toy drive. He played the recorder in the school concert, made a card for Mr. Owl, and wrote a holiday story. I'll pick a toy after school, he promised himself. When Franklin, Franklin got home, there was a gift for him under the tree. It was from Great Aunt Harriet. Franklin was so excited that he forgot all about choosing a gift for a toy drive. Oh my God. He forgot. Franklin squeezed the present and shook it. No peeking, laughed his mom. Do you know what's in it? What it is? asked Franklin eagerly. It must be something special, his mother smiled. Great Aunt Harriet always gives presents that means something to you and to her. Like last year, said Franklin. Great Aunt Harriet knew that he loved to put on plays, and she gave him two puppets that had been hers when she was little. It was one of F R N. It was one of whose Franklin's best presents ever. Okay. Okay. The next day at school, the collection box was brimming. Hmm. You've all been very generous, said Mr. Owl. Do you know that your gift might be the only one somebody receives this holiday? F. R. R. 
Hey. Oh, you're missing a letter. Come on. F A R. See? Franklin. Franklin. Franklin go. <clears throat> he never thought of that. He had to bring a present tomorrow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Franklin, what are you thinking? <clears throat> hey, TK. Franklin. Raced home after school and looked through his toys again. Somebody else might love elephants. But she was worn from so many hugs, hugging, so much hugging. And Franklin wasn't sure that the red car went fast enough. Franklin was upset at first. All of his toys had seemed too special to give away. Now nothing, nothing seemed special enough. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. What is it gonna do? Franklin played with his puppets and thought about how great Aunt Harriet chose her gifts. The best presents are special to give and to receive, he whispered. When Franklin saw his marbled collection and knew that the marbles were special enough for the toy drive, Franklin polished them and put them into a soft purple bag. Okay. Good job. Come on. You ready? <clears throat> he wrapped the present and made a gift tag that read, these are lucky marbles. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's so special. Mm, so special. The next morning, Franklin, Put his present on top of the collection box. Then, Franklin. Franklin and his friends hauled the box to the big tree at the town hall. They placed each present under the tree. Franklin. Knew he would miss his marble collection. Still, he didn't feel at all sad. Instead, he felt good overall. Oh. So good, ain't it? On Christmas Eve, Great Aunt Harriet came to visit and Franklin was allowed to open her present. He ripped off the paper. It's perfect, said Franklin. Thank you, Great Aunt Harriet Bean. She had made a stage for mm -hmm. right here. F R R A
Franklin. Yes. She had made a stage for Franklin's puppet shows. Now open your yours, Franklin insisted. Great Aunt Harriet unwrapped her gift slowly and carefully. Inside was a play written by F R A Franklin. Written by Franklin and dedicated to her. Good job. This is my best Christmas present ever, said Great Aunt Harriet. Franklin got that good overall feeling one more time. <laughs> the end. <laughs> so hi. Thank you guys for reading with Mama and Jeremiah. We hope that a mama and a stank will enjoy uh, this Christmas story over the holidays or even on Christmas Eve. So before you go, make sure you like our post, comment below, and make sure to share it. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You want to make sure they share with the mama and the stank, right? A mama and a Jeremiah. So a mama and a kiddo? Yeah, so a mama and a kiddo. All right, so we hope that you have a great holiday. And what else, Jeremiah? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.